soteria is dangerous situation in person. Here you can see causes of them and stages, pre-renal, renal and post-renal. Um, you should remember that hematuria can be initial, terminal and total. Initial one appears and can be detected it if blood is only in the first portion of the urine. It's a sign of retral damage. Staining of the last portion of urine can be a sign of affected area in the bladder. It's called terminal hematuria. And total one is observed with bleeding arising from parenchyma of kidney or renal pelvis. In this picture, you can see macro and micro and macro uh, hematuria. Total hematuria, as you can see here, uh, can appear if person has such cases as polycystic diseases, kidney tuberculosis, necrosis of renal structures, uh, hemolytic uremic syndrome, also systemic vasculitis, traumas, injuries, embolism, drug damages, etc. If you are as a doctor sh uh, see shapeless clots, uh, these ones are characteristics of bleeding from the bladder. Worm-like blood clots representing the imprint of the ureter are a sign of bleeding from the kidney pelvis and ureter. Leukocyteria is not well too, because excretion in the urine of leukocytes in excess of the norm. It may be insignificant, moderate and pronounced. First one is up to 40 in the field of view. The uh, second one moderate is from 50 to 100 leukocytes in the field of view. Pronounced one is the entire field of view. Pronounced leukocyteria is accepted called pyuria. Normally, in a healthy person, no more than these points of leukocytes and up to these points of erythrocytes are found in one millimeter of urine. Uh, laboratory workers can see such picture of leukocyteria and see such um, points like leukocytes, transitional epithelial seals, bacteria, squamous epithelial seals, and erythrocytes. Leukocyteria is one of the most informative signs in urology and urine analysis. It may uh, be a sign of cystitis, pilonephritis, interstitial nephritis, prostatitis, and other ones. Severe pyuria occurs with infected hydronephrosis, purulent pilonephritis. You should remember that uh, pyuria may appear due to prostate gland inflammation or other damages. The three glass uh, tests al allows you to more accurately identify the source when pyuria is determined only in the third portion. Bacteriuria is dangerous situation when bacteria present in, are present in urine. False bacteriuria also can show us the presence of less than 50,000 uh, 50, microbial bodies in one millimeter of urine. Ways of infection can be different to ascending, descending, lymphogenic, and hematogenous. Bacteriuria can be different according to a first uh, disease. If it's pilonephritis, patient can have dysuria, burning and pain, nausea, uh, temperature of one to two weeks, and pain in kidney, of course. Also, turbid urine has an unpleasant odor. Bacteriuria with the first um, problem as a cystitis can show us such signs as burning during urination, frequent arch to urinate, uh, so-called drop-wise output, turbid urine with unusual smell and discharge from the urethra. Also, it may be pus. Uh, as a microbiology uh, point, you should know some pathogens such as Escherichia coli, Proteus mirabilis, Klebsiella, Staphylococcus, etc. The next one is the amount of urine. You should know firstly about polyuria. It can be physiological and pathological. What? Physiological is an increase in the amount of uh, fluid drunk. It's maybe the use of beer, coffee, mineral water, diuretics, watermelons, melons, and grapes. Pathological one it can be uh, caused by diabetes, acute uh, failure, renal, and initial manifest of chronic renal failure. Polyuria is a dangerous situation and you should be well known about that and it can be a renal and renal. First one, it may be a sign of bilateral renal aplasia, erroneously removing the only or only one functioning kidney. Renal polyuria can be uh, shown for renal artery thrombosis, shock, collapse, 
or significant dehydration. Here you can see the histological picture of diseases uh, of kidneys and congenital problems of uh, the structure of kidney. The amount of urine can be decreased also, and we can call it anuria, or also non-present, renal or post-renal anuria. And here you can see histological pictures of such cases, such as acute proximal tubular necrosis, or acute or chronic interstitial nephritis, etc. Renal anuria is acute and chronic glomerular nephritis, nephritis, nephrosclerosis, transfusion of incompatible blood, crush syndrome, poisoning with necrotic, necrotic poisons. These cases are dangerous for everyone. And postrenal uh, anuria can be uh, the sign of mechanical occlusion of the upper urinary tract, stones, tumors, cicatrical changes in the pelvis, and ligatures. Changes in urination frequency are well common. Normally per day, a person urinates from two to eight times with an average volume about 300 millimeters. You should be well known with such cases as strangeria, it may be rapid, difficult and painful urination is typical for inflammatory diseases, obstructive urination disorders, its incontinence and retentions, palacuria, frequent urination more than 11 times a day, and nocturia, frequent urination at night, one time or more at the age of 60 years and more than one time after 60 years. In these pictures you can see more detailed characteristics of this state. Changes in urination can be called also as isuria, obsuria, oliguria, and enuresis. Obsuria is a condition in which there is uh, there are late separation of a large amount of urine in a day or more uh, after, uh, after the abundant intake of fluid. Oliguria is a decrease of daily urine uh, less than 500 millimeters. Enuresis is a difficult situation. It's a bad wetting. Here you can see the statistics of Anuresis in uh, different ages. Anuresis also can be in adults too. It may be after diseases of prostate operation of the, uh, on the pelvic organs or infravesical obstruction. It's involuntary urination during sleep. As you can see, this scheme classification of uh, anuresis, this uh, situation can be classified due to time of appearance and symptoms. It's primary, secondary, monosymptomatic and non-monosymptomatic. Bad weather is nobody's fault and it can be and should be treated. All children of the, over the age of six years with persistent anuresis should undergo a neurological examination. Urinary incontinence, it's arbitrary urinary output, most commonly in women, but in men uh, occurs too. Uh, in women, it's again the background of age-related changes in the pelvic floor. In men, it's after radical prostatectomy, the transurethral resection of, of the prostate. Uh, also, it may be uh, a sign of ectopia of the mouth of the urethra to the urethra or vagina, it's urethral or genital fistulas. Stress urinary incontinence is dangerous too because urine output against the background of a sharp increase. Here you can see the types of incontinence from stress to arch overflow and neurogenic incontinence. Urgent urinary incontinence can be treated also and uh, as uh, exercises for pelvic floor uh, muscles. Urinary incontinence arising from the background of an uncontrollable urge to urinate. Primary, it's a uh, overactive bladder symptom. Secondary, it's a urinary tract infections, neurogenic dysfunction or intravesical obstructions. Here you can see different mechanisms of this state. Urinary incontinence during overflow. In these pictures, you can see statistics uh, in main, uh, men and female in different ages. It may be paradoxic ischuria in the drop-wise discharge of urine right from overflow of the bladder and causes may be such as acute urinary retention, chronic urinary ret retention, including stage 3 prostate hyperplasia. Um, you should uh, know that most common reasons of urinary incontinence in women are pregnancy, childbirth and menopause. Also, it's a connection between the urology and gynecology.